Yo, what's up guys? It's Yellowfin, and in this video, I am going to be giving you guys a sneak peek of 16 of the new update 20.0, I guess it's called Asia Pacific Grand Prix, but the Asia Pacific Grand Prix update PL20, um, so yeah, 16 cards, plus also three exclusive prize cards at the end of the video, so definitely stay tuned for that, but lack of uploads has kind of been because i've been on vacation for a while but i'll be back shortly after this video is uploaded i'll have new daily uploads and hopefully trying to upload like two videos a day because the new update is coming soon and also hopefully a two million pack opening when the new update drops as well but first let's get into what you guys came to see which is the new cars so opening up that pack and the first car is the hyundai pony hatchback I, I honestly don't have anything special to say about this one, but it is a hatchback RQ15. Seems just like another generic common, but the thing I should probably say about this car is it's a Hyundai and it's also Korean, which means we'll be seeing Korean cars in this new update. Plus, Top Drive has also made an Instagram post with the Hyundai Kona Electric. So we'll also be seeing that car in the future too. But that one, they also said that Hyundai will be a brand that will actually get a good amount of cars in it, not just like... 13 or something which is like hey guys here's hyundai and we added 20 cars so it'll actually be a bit saturated so maybe we'll see like 50 to 60 hyundais or we could see something upwards to like 100 depending on how big hutch wants to make this update but we do also know this update will be larger than world expo at least that's what they said before in one of their live streams if i recall correctly but yeah this is just the first car of many nice ones like this one the Hyundai i800 2.5 CRDI. 2019, it's a van, and it's got surprisingly 69 handling, which is honestly not too bad for a van. That'll probably max out at like 76, I'd say, 76 handling, which is not too bad for an RQ15 common. Plus, it's also a van, so it'll be one of the better performing common vans. So that's an interesting one too. Then we jump, though, to Uncommon with a very cool looking car the mazda attends a mazda speed which also shows us first mazda will be getting an update which i'm very excited about plus also japanese cars will also be added which makes sense uh, like you can't add that many korean cars and have it be bigger than world expo you kind of need a bit of variety so mazda will be getting updated as well which makes me very excited because hopefully and this is not official but i'm hoping that the Mazda CX-30 gets added because that's my car in real life. And that would be amazing then if my car would be added to the game because that would definitely be top one on the wish list then to go for. But also this Mazda Tenza is just very nice looking. Plus it's got the Mazda Speed package. So it just looks a bit cooler then too. So let's continue on through this pack. Hyundai Ionic Hybrid. It's not too bad. 10.376. It's going to be a decent handling car. And not too bad, though. Uncommon standard tires. Similar to, like, that Ford Mondeo Estate, I believe. So not too bad. It'll just be a sort of average uncommon standard tire car. Next, Rares Mazda 626. Another Mazda. 30 RQ front-wheel drive standard tires. It's kind of just a generic low RQ standard tire car. Nothing too special to say about that one. Mazda Miata M Speedster. This one is cool. It's a little Miata believe a concept car i've never seen any of these on the road so i'd assume it's a concept car 6.881 should max out at 90 handling which isn't too bad probably on the higher end of the mazda miatas so not too bad looking forward to be able, being able to collect that one too from the 90s so it's the one with the pop-ups here we go though this is where we're getting into the interesting stuff hyundai ionic 5 77 kilowatts an hour I don't know if that's part of the name like that's supposed to be part of the name but maybe it is but i am actually really excited about this car this is one of the few electric cars i'm actually a fan of the porsche taken um like the remac nevera and then i also really like the hyundai ionic 5 that's also and i guess the model s plaid or i really like the model x plaids those ones are like the ludicrous speed tesla model x's those are cool but we're not talking about those right now i do really actually like the hyundai ionic 5 so excited to see this one plus there are better performing versions too that hopefully we might also be seeing add to the game that probably could be like epic territory with four-wheel drive standard tires so that'll be interesting to see but also this one will be a really useful super as well one of the better maybe even the best 
rear wheel drive standard tire super rares. I'm assuming it'll be medium ground clearance. 7.077 honestly will be a really strong contender for the best standard tire super rare. That's medium ground clearance as well because that cater ham is one of the best. Then here, this reveals another brand we'll be getting. So we know of three so far. Now we have Mitsubishi as well thrown into the equation. 6.577 Mitsubishi Gallant VR4. But this hopefully means we'll be seeing a lot of Lane Evos as well, some Eclipses, and maybe some other stuff too. So that is pretty cool to see. Then right here, we have one of the new, hope one of the potentially new best front wheel drive standard tire cars. The only other car that's in this competition is the Chrysler 200S, I believe is what it's called. The 4049RQ 40, one, that's 5.774. This car is 6.376, so it will be pretty close. Interesting to see if this will be one of the new best front wheel drive standard tire super rares. Pretty cool. And now we will be going into ultra rare territory with the Mitsubishi Lancer 1600 GSR rally car. Not too bad, sort of a mid-tier um, ultra rare rally car. It's not crazy good, like it's not crazy broken like the Abarth that's low ground clearance, so that's an ultra rare. And it's not on the super duper low end. It's just kind of mid in the middle. Not too bad though. And it's also just a cool looking car too. So it'll be a nice car to collect. Then we have this car. Now this one, the Hyundai Vision G Coupe is really interesting, honestly. It's 60 RQ, 5.0, 82, 180 top speed. Those stats are really lacking, honestly, for it being a, if it is low ground clearance ultra rare. So it's either medium ground clearance and then it's pretty solid or it's low ground clearance and then it probably has crazy MRA. Cause like we're probably talking like 90, 95 MRA then is what my guess would be. Or it's medium ground clearance and that's just a pretty solid medium ground clearance car as well. So that one will be interesting to see when the update drops. It could be game changing. Now this car is absolutely overpowered. The Mazda 3 2.5 turbo all wheel drive for its RQ, 67 RQ, 5.980 is insane. Like my Acura TLSH all-wheel drive, I have it maxed out. I believe it's 69 RQ. That maxes out at 5.285. This should also max out at, I'm not sure the 0 to 60, probably like 5.2, but then 89 handling. And for 2 RQ less. So this Mazda 3 is going to be absolutely insane. Really excited to see this car added to the game. Honestly will switch up the standard tire meta a little bit i wonder if also it might be able to beat the cadillac ct6 just because of the two higher handling so we will have to see when that happens on the slalom test mainly just on slalom and like maybe car park so we will have to see when that happens then next up lancer evo 3 so not oh wait whoops a little you guys got a little spoiler on the next car but lancer evo 3 also not too bad 4.983 this update probably is what i'm assuming will be similar to the subaru update where it just got tons of the same impreza over and over again so i'm betting we'll probably see a ton more lancers added to this update that'll probably be my guess and first we've already got one confirmed with the lancer evo 3 then we have another interesting mitsubishi not a uh, lancer though this one is the eclipse rally art 4.083 kind of mediocre stats for an rq74 not crazy good not crazy bad it's just kind of in the middle 74 rq it's just kind of another mitsubishi but it's still pretty cool and now this is what's exciting not just because we're getting mitsubishi lancer rally cars but because we'll actually have legendaries that won't be prize cars in this update the last few updates have all had legendaries or no legendaries that are prize cars with the australian update this american update I can't remember what the update previous to that was, but that one also might have not had legendaries or there. Were, no, that was lock to lock, which had like three legendaries we can get. But here's one already. And I don't believe they'd make this one a prize car because there's many better Lancer rally cars that they can add that are much quicker that they could probably make prize cars. And also it has the same stats as that Peugeot off-roader. That's also 81 RQ. So Probably this one will not be a prize car, which is good for us because that means we could pull it a lot easier. Then we also have one more legendary, which is this. The Hyundai Veloster NETCR. Performance tires, which is pretty interesting, but honestly, that makes a bit more sense that it would have performance tires than slick tires. 
3.189, 168 top speed is kind of similar to the Lancia New Stratos, which isn't like the greatest car, but it's kind of just mediocre, a decent little low RQ legendary, but it is also an 83 RQ legendary. We'll have to see what the MRA is on it though. And yeah, it's just, it is another legendary though that most likely will not be a prize car, which is cool to see because that means we will have packable legendaries then when the carbon fiber offers drop. So that is the 16 cars of um, this pack that I was given. But now we have three exclusive prize cars, which means they're not going to be in any of the other YouTubers' videos. These three prize cars are exclusive to me to reveal to you guys. And we are starting it off with an ultra rare, the, oh, the Mitsubishi Triton Super Ute. 55RQ, 5.383. It's a truck, so I'd assume it has high ground clearance. Not too bad, should max out like 4.592 would be my guess, which isn't like the greatest stats, but high ground clearance too. That'll be a pretty solid car to have, so it's not too bad. Plus, we'll have to see the MRA on it as well. Then, I kind of forgot to do a little intro to it, but here we go, another nice Mitsubishi as well, the Pajero Evolution MPR 13. Off-road tires on this one, four-wheel drive, 5.975. So also means we'll probably see some more Pajero Evolutions as well. The previous ones that aren't rally cars. And maybe more Pajero rally cars too. So we'll have to see. But 72 RQ, 5.975. That does seem pretty strong. Will be a similar contender to the Ford Bronco R. And it's got a bit better top speed than the Bronco R. So that will be interesting to see how those two compete with each other. And then we've got the Brabham BT62 Competition. RQ100 Legendary from Australia. Makes sense that this Brabham is actually getting added. It was kind of surprising that it didn't get added with the um, Australian update. Because they totally had the opportunity to add legendaries to that update with the Brabhams. But here they are now. RQ100. Pretty funny that they're getting thrown into the Asian update. But here it is. I can't complain. I'm happy with another legendary being added to the game. And another new brand being added to the game. So, pretty cool. Pretty exciting to see. All of these cars that will be added to the game and hopefully this update contains a lot more nice stuff too and hopefully my mazda cx30 because that would be amazing if my mazda gets added to the game but yeah that will be it for this video thank you guys for watching join the discord server link in the description if you want more update news we're putting everything in our little newsroom we got trying the best to you know um get all the news and collect it all for you guys to see so join the discord link in the description like subscribe follow me on instagram um and that's about it i'm elephant thanks for watching and goodbye